So what does a business continuity plan typically include? So business continuity plans typically include checklists with supplies, equipment, any data backups or, or data site locations, any resources that you have, what inventory, where is it? Uh, who are the administrators? What's their contact information? Who are the emergency responders? Who are the key personnel? What are their responsibilities, right? What's the threat matrix? What, what do you have to worry about? What are the critical processes you have to worry about? Who can declare a company emergency or disaster? Is there an evacuation facility? What's the communication plan? Uh, again, we talked about contact info. All of these are things to include in a continuity plan. It really is about preparation and planning for all the worst case scenarios in advance. So that way there's a plan somewhere. It's like a fire escape plan, right? You don't want to make the plan when the building's on fire. You want to have the plan in place beforehand. And that means you need to take time and almost role play through different scenarios. So the good news is, is typically you're not worried about 101 things. You're really worried about maybe category of anywhere from three to five, maybe seven or more. But you can just dedicate some time and you can just knock it out once a month if you want or once a quarter where you get all the key, you know, all the people that need to be involved, the main decision makers, and you kind of role play a scenario. Hey, this is what's happened. Now what? What do we need? What about that? And you kind of like role play and walk through it because that will really help you identify things that you didn't expect or you didn't anticipate. So brainstorm as much as you can, talk to other people, get other resources, and come up with your own business continuity plan. You, you know, it's it's not important until it's important. And by then, you know, it's it's it might be too late. So it's a really good idea to spend some time to think about this and, and almost have like a resource file where you keep the list of all this important stuff, right? Your intellectual property, any legal contracts or agreements, all that kind of stuff. You know, if a big bomb went off, if a pandemic hit, you know, if everybody had to work from home suddenly, like what would you do? You know, if the main people in charge of things disappeared, is there a sacred knowledge problem? Are there things you know, like, you know, are there critical things that nobody else knows how to do? You got to find out what those are and get that documentation down. So it's really easy to know where it is, who's responsible for it, you know, how they're involved, how to contact them. And if you can't contact them, what do you do?